Before we start the setup process, it is important to notice that when you pick up your camera and shake it, you will hear the following noise. That is perfectly normal. Each of the cameras got a sensor inside to determine whether the camera is facing up or down. This will help to make sure that the image you're viewing on your smartphone is always upright. In this video we will show you how to set up your new Wi-Fi camera and to connect it to your smartphone. In order to start the setup process, make sure that you've got your Wi-Fi router, smartphone and new Wi-Fi camera close to each other. Also make sure that your Wi-Fi router is switched on and that your Wi-Fi signal is enabled. The first step is to go and download the UC app. You can either download the UC app by scanning in the QR code on the packaging or you can go to the relevant store and download the UC app by searching for UC. The next screen will show you how the app looks. Once you've downloaded the app, the first step will then be to register your profile. You do this by entering a relevant email and password. Once you've completed the registration process, you are now ready to set up your first camera and this is the profile you'll be using to set up one, two or multiple cameras. The first important step in setting up your camera is to make sure that your smartphone is connected to your Wi-Fi router. As you can see here, the signal there indicates that this phone is connected to the Wi-Fi router. You then go to your UC app, enter your UC app. I've already logged into this profile and you can see there's already one camera registered onto this profile. Now in order to add a next camera I just press, on to, press the plus button on the right hand side on top and then I've got three options. You can smart link, add manually or scan. 99% you'll make use of the smart link button. Once you've clicked the smart link button you've got a choice, they've got two choices. You can either connect via a Wi-Fi signal or you can use a wired connection. The easiest way to connect is to use a wired connection although the Wi-Fi connection also works perfectly. So I'm first going to demonstrate how to use a wired connection. Before we go continue, the first step is to make sure there's power to your new Wi-Fi camera. Once you've plugged in the power cable, you'll see a blue light shining in front indicating that the camera has got power. Also make sure then that your LAN cable is connected to the back. And once you've connected to the back, you'll see a, a, a green and a, and a yellow light indicating that it's connected to the network. In order to connect, you'll have to wait for the blue light to go off and for a beeping sound to start. There you can hear the beeping sound. That indicates that the camera is now ready to be connected. Going back now to the app, we choose the use wired connection. It basically then says make the camera pre prepared and which we've already done is make sure that there's power and the LAN cable is connected and then we say next step. You will then see that the phone has already picked up the camera. You press the plus button and now basically it says what is the device, device name and what is the password. The device name is any name that you want to give your, your camera. And the password, each camera's default password for a start will be 123. Once you, once you clicked in the password and device name, you press save button. And it will go back and you'll see your camera has been added. What is important then to notice is the red shield at, the, at the, the bottom. Before you can enter the camera or to view the camera, you have to press the red button. The 
that will bring up a screen where you then have to change the password. The reason for this is for security purposes. Every camera that we sell has got a default password of 123 and we force everyone then, once they connect the camera, to change the password to make sure that nobody can view the camera remotely. So please enter the current password, in this case it will be 123. And then please enter a new password. What is important to, to notice with the new password, it must be 60 to 30 characters containing letters and digits. Once you've saved, you'll see the red shield has disappeared. At this point in time, you have now successfully registi registered your camera. And when you click onto the screen, you'll start disabling the sound, and basically you will see the, the images come up. And as you can see there, the camera will then already can then start moving. And that is the process using the LAN cable to set up your camera. So once you've set up your camera using the LAN cable, you always have the choice to change from a LAN cable to a, a Wi-Fi connection. I'm now going to show you how to do this change. On your smartphone, looking at the relevant camera, you'll see on the right hand bottom corner there's a small gear. Once you click on the gear, it will bring up a menu. Click on the network settings. And here you'll see currently that the smart camera is connected via the LAN cable. So in order to change from the LAN cable to the Wi-Fi signal, you will look at the relevant Wi-Fi signal that you need to pick up, choose the one that is relevant to you, in my case it's pointing direct, and I don't have a password, so I'll just put in confirm. and you'll basically see that the connection will change from wired to Wi-Fi. So at this point in time you can then remove the LAN cable from the back of the camera. If I go back to the main screen and I click on the, the camera image you will see the camera, I can operate the camera via my smartphone using the Wi-Fi link. The second manner in which you can connect your camera is to use the Wi-Fi signal. A lot of the routers we get these days don't have the option of using a LAN cable and for that reason you can then connect your Wi-Fi camera to your smartphone using a Wi-Fi signal. So again, we're just going to make sure that the camera has got power. And again, the power is basically confirmed by the blue light shining in the front. Before we can start the connection process, we need to wait for the beeping sound. Please be patient, it could be a few seconds before you start hearing the beeping sound. That is the beeping sound, which is an indication that now we can start the process of setting up the camera. So instead of using a wired connection, we're now going to choose the connect via Wi Fi. It then asks you um, what is the, the password of your um, Wi Fi router. In my case, I don't have a password. So I will just go to the next step and just says oh sure there's no Wi-Fi password confirmed. It then says when the camera is ready it releases a prompt tone which I've already explained and which you hear and I can say I hear the connection and please turn on the handset keep a 30 centimeters distance. 
click on the next step and then you start hearing this sound which indicates that the phone is searching for the signal. So that beep sound indicated that the smartphone has picked up the Wi-Fi camera and it should be connected to the smartphone now. And there you'll see. So again it will ask the password, it will give, ask for a name for the camera and you'll follow exactly the same process as what we did with the LAN cable. So I'm just going to put in the name as 123, I'm going to put in the password, the device password as I said, told, already told you by default is 123 and we put in save and again you'll see the new camera has been added, it's online, the red shield, so again I need to press the red shield It will take you to the password screen. You will again put in the default password one two three, and then your own unique password. And once you then press the save button, you are re your camera is ready to be operated from your smartphone. So you'll see the red shield has disappeared. I press the button and basically there you go and you can see I can start moving the camera using my smartphone. If you have any other questions please feel free to email us on the support email as provided in the manual.